What is going on? Darth Sticks here, and today I wanted to go over our week 36 updates, see where we're going, how the account is progressing, what we're working towards, and everything. Uh, right now, top row there is what I am currently farming, Zalbar Mission, uh, Django, we are still farming that for the Houndstooth, uh, Queel is for Queel and um, the Thai Bomber. So we can see how we're going, progressing on that TIE Bomber right now. 70 shards of that, so it will unlock uh, pretty soon. And then Quill is moving along. Um, and then Jolie Bindo, working on that, of course. Grief Karga, uh, working on him for uh, BAM. So, and then next row uh, is just ones, if I have anything available, we, we do those. We haven't really worked on those. Uh, hardly at all. Uh, Chief Chirpa right is in Cantina. Uh, right now, Cantina, we are trying to get relic materials, so uh, we are just focusing on that and have not done really anything else. And then Cad Bane ship uh, with Droidica at some point. Uh, we'll start doing that in Cara Dune. Since she's a character and it's double uh, shards, I'm not as worried about starting those. I want to get started on all the ships. Uh, we've got uh, right now our, our ships, uh, Hyena Bomber's almost done, and Houndstooth's almost done, so we'll get rid of those two farms as soon as those uh, finish up, and then we can focus on uh, some others in those. So, um, and then, uh, so JKR Unlock, we're getting pretty close on that. Um, Jolie will definitely finish up first. Uh, needs, what, 70 shards? I think 70 shards is correct. 72, I guess. And then Mission Zalbar. Going to take a little bit longer than that. Padme, we need one more um, uh, Cairo here. Or, uh, so yeah, Cairo Tech Battle Computer there. We need, uh, you know, 41 more of those. And we'll have that finished off. So we're very, very close on Kenobi. And I'll probably leave that team uh, all uh, where they are. For now, I was going to push them up into uh, Relic 5s, but since I'm pushing for Executor, I'm going to hold off on that and um, should be good there. Uh, we didn't really make progress on any of these other teams. Uh, Imperial Troopers will start improving. Piet there. Uh, I can't put that piece of gear on, but it's actually one that Kenobi needs as well. So uh, those Kyrotech battle computers. So I'm not going to do anything on that right now. Bosk, we did take to Relic 5 to finish that off this week. Um, and so just to see, you know, kind of where we're at in that. Uh, Boba Fett after will probably be the next Relic after Kenobi. Uh, we've started working uh, with our fleet energy uh, to get this uh, little piece here. Um, and so we will continue doing that. Uh, and then uh, Dingar is there, IG-88. Uh, we gave another level to ig so he is uh, level twelve, uh, level eleven now, or gear level eleven, um, and then yeah, and so Ewoks we have worked on them just a little bit, getting them all up to level fifty, starting putting some mods on them, and trying to give them a few levels here and there, giving them some abilities, that kind of stuff. Uh, we will want C three PO uh, at some point, so definitely working on that, and then uh, you can see our Bam unlock. Uh, Mandalorian, I think, is pretty good. Uh, IG-11, we can actually activate him, so we'll do that. Uh, we're working on him along with Grief Karga anyways. Um, and Grief Karga, we are getting out of both locations and fleets and that, um, and in the other node. So there we go, got him to two stars. And Grief, we can also give another level two. Another star there, five stars. So, yeah, definitely have a lot of work on them to go. Uh, but I will say we're coming along nicely. Um, and then we can go back up here to characters, kind of see that top row is basically what we're working on. Um, TIE Fighter Pilot will give him the six star there. Whoops, I'm so used to doing that. There we go, six stars there. And yeah, you can see Boba Fett, Piet, our IG and that uh, working on that executor journey and um, yeah we are making good progress on it um, 
So we can go in here and we can see we finished off a few of our relics already. And then um, we have our first ship in the Slave 1 that is seven stars. So that could complete the entire thing. So definitely a lot of work there still on the ships to go. Um, but we are slowly but surely working away on those. Um, so I am excited about that. Um, and then we can, let's see where we're at on these. Uh, we are maintaining close to top 100 most of the time in squad and then fleet. We're trying to stay top 20. Um, we are pushing pretty hard on that one. So, um, I think most days we do end up, uh, at least top 20. Uh, I don't think we've fallen below top 20 this week. And then we occasionally do get into the top 10. So not bad there. Um, let's see if there's anything else uh, that I need to talk about. Um, yeah, but definitely the ships is something we're, we're really going to push uh, for. Let's give another star here as well. Yeah, we got the currency there to give. Six star to the Imperial TIE Fighter. We're getting that out of uh, Fleet's Fleet Store. So that is working out really well. Um, and yeah, we're close on, you know, Hyena Bomber and Houndstooth. So I'm happy about that. That'll free up uh, some of our uh, hard nodes on the light side and dark side. So Malevolence, we're at 100 shards uh, of that. So a little bit more work there to go. And yeah, and then just keep working. That's all we can do. Um, GAC this week definitely was tough, to say the least. I'll have a video out on that soon. So hopefully you guys, if you watch this long, I do appreciate it. And as always, like, comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching.